the town's going nuts. I think basically the way I see it, if the crowd in the kingdom had yelled any louder, they would have retracted the roof. I mean, we wouldn't need, didn't need a new stadium. It's Mariner Fever. It's uh, Mariner Fever. It's turned into Mariner Ebola. It's, you know, epidemic <laughs> proportions. It's unbelievable. I mean, there's, there's been a lot of news this week. Let's face it, you know. A lot of headlines, giant headlines getting bigger and bigger as we expect. The big excitement at this moment is over the Mariners. I mean, look at this picture they had at the Kingdom crowd in the paper today. Everybody, ah, with their hands up, everybody's going crazy, except for the one guy in the middle. Did you guys notice this, the one guy? I mean, who, look at this, what is this guy? Who is this guy? What is he thinking, you know? I don't know. I left the gas on. You know, what is this guy? He said... He's a perfectionist. It's like a home run, yeah, but it could have gone high. It's like, you know, I don't know. Anyway, as crazy as everything got, you know, the team, as you say, they managed to stay loose, which is good. You know, you saw that they, between innings, they got together and they played London Bridge is falling down, which <laughs> kept them together as a team. It's a good game, you know, kept them together as a team. You know, caught Cora. It's okay. Anyway, anyway, they, uh, tonight, although it sure, it, it, it was... Uh, you know, we won a, uh, by a big, there was the big grand slam and everything, and so it's, you know, oh, we put it, you know, we put it away, but then it got tense, you know, and it shouldn't, it really, you know, you, you follow me, it, it really shouldn't have been that tense, but, you know, Lou put Ayala in, and, and here, if I could just do my impression of Ayala pitching tonight. Okay, let me just see if I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> That was my impression. I do. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But anyway. Anyway. Uh, there, yeah. Thank you. Back there. That's right. There's a whole, whole different feeling to the games now that they've moved from Yankee Stadium to the Kingdome. For one thing, the Mariners are winning. But the other, the big difference also is the attitude of the crowd. Now let's face it. Some pretty disgusting things happened in New York, and our own, our own Nancy Guppy has some observations on that. Nancy. Thanks, John. You know, those New York fans are dorks, okay? Let me, let me show you a list of what they threw onto the field. Golf balls, batteries, bottles, refrigerators, <laughs> spitting cobras, two of them. And Jay Beaner almost got hit by an engine block from a 68 Camaro. <laughs> Excuse me, I mean, it was ridiculous, okay? But here in Seattle, the fans are nice. Sure, we throw stuff onto the field, but we make sure it's nice stuff or at least useful stuff. For example, as you know, last night, someone threw a coin onto the field, okay? This wasn't meant to hurt anyone. No, it was a, a gift for some player to go buy himself a little treat, like some gum or something. Okay, someone else, they threw a tomato. Now, this is a good start on a healthy salad. That's very, very thoughtful. Now, fans also threw, look at this, someone threw out a smoked salmon, the good kind. <laughs> Not that crap from Safeway, okay? And for those vegetarian outfielders, look at this. Someone threw out a 12-ounce box of applets and cutlets. Mm. Now, another thing that came flying out of the stands was a beaded car seat cover. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good for the back, and it's oh so stylish as well. And look at this. This is absolutely the creme de la creme. Someone threw out two tickets to the Seattle Rep. Okay, this is row, row H, seats eight and nine. These are damn good seats. Now, someone also threw down some Seahawk tickets, but they were thrown back. Okay. Now, finally, uh, one thing you'll never see thrown onto the field in Seattle is a bottle. Why? Because there's a chance it would not be recycled properly. <laughs> Way to go, Mariner fans. We'll feel a little bit better about ourselves now. Thank you very much. Okay, there is one more game against the Yankees tomorrow. And you know what? I just have to say this. I believe they basically, the Mariners have to win that game because it's not fair if they don't. It's not fair to take it that far and then lose because it would be like, well, it would be like that first heavy date you had in high school when you're like, you know, 16 years old and everything moves kind of slow. You're nervous. You have dinner. You go to the movies and hold hands for a couple hours. You really don't think anything is really going to happen. And then... What do you know? You're back at your house, and just as everything starts to heat up, you can't believe it, you hear your parents in the driveway, okay? <laughs> now, if they lose tomorrow, I, the whole city is going to feel that pain, that pain, you know, that you get when that happens, that pain. <laughs> it's just that so close. Oh, I went through it in high school. Don't make me relive it. Ooh, ow. That's just a personal plea from me. Anyway... <laughs> 
The audiences for the televised games also, I don't have to tell you, have been huge. They've been enormous. And I know that there is a lot of you still watching. So at this time, I'm proud to welcome back a very special sponsor to Almost Live. Take a look.